Harsh punishment delivered. Senior royals rally to punish Harry and Meghan for disrespecting Queen. Royal fans, before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. The Queen deliberately wanted Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to be front and center with their own procession at Jubilee Thanksgiving service. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made their first public appearance in the UK since stepping down as senior royals in 2020. On Friday, the couple attended the service of Thanksgiving with the rest of the royal family. The Queen, although not in attendance at the service, reportedly deliberately wanted Meghan and Harry to have their own procession upon their arrival at St Paul's Cathedral. Speaking on BBC, the Sunday Times royal editor Roya Nikar discussed the Queen's deliberate act for her grandson and his wife. Ms Nikar said, You would have Prince of Wales, the Duke of Cambridge, the two future heirs, it's right that they would welcome the Queen and walk in throughout the procession. She added, Prince Harry is no longer a working member of the royal family, he stepped back from his royal duties, but I think Her Majesty the Queen has ensured that Harry and Meghan were front and centre there and had their own procession. Upon their arrival at St Paul's Cathedral, the couple were met with a mix of cheers and boos. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were smiling and waving at the crowds, holding hands as they walked into the cathedral. As the couple arrived at the aisle, they had to walk past Harry's cousins Princess Beatrice and her husband Edardo Mopelli Mozzi, and Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank, who were already seated. The service of Thanksgiving was their first royal public appearance together since 2020. The couple did attend the Trooping the Colour celebrations at Horse Guards on Thursday, however, they stayed out of the spotlight inside the Duke of Wellington's former office with more than 30 members of the family. The couple have traveled to the UK with their two children, although the children haven't attended any of the public events. The Queen was not going to be in attendance at Friday's service of Thanksgiving. Buckingham Palace released a statement on Monday afternoon to confirm the decision for the Queen's absence. The statement read, The Queen greatly enjoyed today's birthday parade and flypast but did experience some discomfort. Taking into account the journey and activity required to participate in tomorrow's national service of thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral, Her Majesty with great reluctance has concluded that she will not attend. The celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee began on Thursday June 2nd and will end on Sunday June 5th. In September 2015, Queen Elizabeth II became the longest reigning monarch in British history. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comment, thanks.